What do you think is the best look on me? What do you think is the best look on me? What do you think? Are you thinking? Keep thinking, keep thinking. While well, you're thinking of the best look on me, I want to share who I am. My name is Joe Kurleski, the super brave teacher. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching these videos. You were awesome. Yeah, let's tip Google, let's tip the world, let's show people like me, gay teachers like me, that we are awesome. Thanks for doing your part. I'm gonna keep doing mine until we see the shift. It's gonna happen. What do you guess? What do you think? What looks best on me? Tank tops? No. Kindness. It has always been and will forever be kindness. Kindness just looks good on me. And guess what? Kindness looks damn good on you. lie I do care about how I look externally and often it overshadows who I am internally because I'm so like is my hair just right is the tank top just right all this stuff and I'm really working on it and thank you for letting me be vulnerable with all of you I think it's just hard I remember being a little kid and I remember that kid, I was, I was that kid who always loved just being kind and funny and all these things. But one of my biggest memories is that we were smiling for a picture and I was just like, or whatever, and I was, you know, doing whatever. And one of my brothers said, you have a horrible smile and you need to practice. Something like that. Like, you don't have a good smile, look at yourself in the mirror, you're a joke, go practice. And I remember practicing the smile in the mirror, I'd be like, and I couldn't figure out what he meant by it. And I ended up having like this, the same three poses, smiles that you see on all of my videos because like it's so ingrained in me like, don't look ugly, don't have a bad smile, don't look bad. So you see me going and all these things and one of my favorite things that husband tells me is like that his favorite pictures of me, his favorite moments with me are when I'm just in the moment as I am, not worried about angles or thoughts and all these things, but I'm just me and I'm just radiating me. So it's taken me a lot to work through that and obviously I'm continuing to work through that because I'm like, I know I should just show my full self all the time, but don't you want these three poses? Don't you? Don't you? And it's like this story I tell myself is that like the best way to show up is a certain way. And I've been thinking about just who I am and who I know myself to be. And that's a kind, kind, authentic, super rave person. And kindness looks the best on me. Kindness looks way better on me than a tank top. Kindness looks way better on me than my hair popped up. Kindness looks way better on me than like making sure like the wrinkles under my eyes don't always show up so horribly. Kindness, kindness is a good look on me. And kindness is a great look on you. I mean, I think of some of the best things people can do for me is just say some kind words. And I know that like that's my gift too. When I just speak from the heart and speak kindness to people, they burst, they, they love it. And I just want to put that out there, that let's really be kind, be kind. You know, there's all these things that like we could do and should do, let's just be kind to each other. <sighs> let's do it friends, let's be kind together. Let's just be kind. There's no need to leave mean comments below. There's no need to think mean thoughts. Let's just be kind. Because what's beautiful is like, you, I can hold a lot of things at the same time. I can hold the fact that I am extremely beautiful and extremely ugly at the same time. But internally, when I am just in my world of kindness, it's really hard for me to hate on people. It's really hard for me to be in a bad mood. It's really hard for me to do those other negative things when I'm just filling myself with tons of loving kindness. So thank you for being kind. Thanks for being who you are. Before we leave, I want to tell you a quick funny story. I was just at the gym. I'm trying to be funnier. I was just at the gym and I was like 
thinking about this video and thinking about being kind. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it on. And I was just greeting everybody and saying hi to everybody. And as I'm leaving, I'm really trying to talk to like the receptionist and like lean in and be like, what's new with you? How's life going? All this stuff. And as I'm talking, she's like, um, um, I'm like, no, how are you doing? What's new with you? And I realized like, maybe when I was showering or something, I like completely cut my finger and it was bleeding everywhere. So as I'm like talking with my hands, like a dude, there's like blood going everywhere. And she's like, do you need, I was like, no, what do you need? And she's like, um, I think you need a bandaid. Like, thanks for talking to me, but I think you need a bandaid. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's your funny story for the day. Be kind, friends. Keep being you. Keep showing up. You are enough. You are awesome. You are loved. You are loved. And how great is that to know that and to keep sharing that with others? What a gift to be kind to others and to be kind to yourself and just know that you're enough. I'm going to say the same thing to you, Joel. Be kind. Keep being kind. Don't blood everywhere. Come on. But be kind and keep showing up. You're awesome, Joel. Bye, friends. Every wall, tell me, is there a cure for?